A little word about meetups. So in um, Amsterdam, there uh, were in 2015 about 312 tech meetup groups. This were the, these were the active ones because there's actually about 900 or so. Um, so these groups in 2015 organized 1,310 events uh, to which uh, 51,500 yes RSVPs have resulted. So that's about 39.27 per event, which makes this one an outlier on the right side of that. Um, although in actual show up, I think we're pretty close to the mean. Um, so actually you're just an average group, I'm so sorry. Um, so uh, the, the, uh, the RSVPs were given by uh, about 15,000 uh, unique active members. Uh, and this is just Amsterdam. Uh, this is in 2015, that's uh, 3.55 RSVPs per active member in a year. Uh, that means if this is your first one this year, you only have uh, 2.5 to go. Congratulations. So this is obviously a lot of stuff, right? And there's a lot of media and a lot of stuff to, uh, to choose from. I wouldn't be surprised if there are some other things happening as well tonight, um, which may or may not have resulted in a lot of people choosing different endeavors right now. Uh, we aim uh, shortly to provide some guidance in all of this mess, because finally, if you model the entire thing as some kind of a, a social network, which essentially the meetups are, uh, they're an event-based social network, then um, you will learn that there are sub-communities in this network and uh, that you can run a community detection algorithm that will give you communities out of this, which is nice, and obviously we did. This is our community. Um, it consists of these uh, 10 meetups. When you look at the top 10 meetups in the community that emerges from the community detection algorithm for um, the Amsterdam meetup space, um, the funny thing is that uh, in spite of this uh, particular meetup, the Amsterdam Apache Spark meetup being relatively new, it is already in the top five. Um, other, um, well, let's say more debatable topics on the bottom there, like digital analytics, I'm not sure what that means. Um, but, you know, you get the gist, this is the data people. So once again, you're part of a pretty unique group of people. Congratulations. Also, uh, when you're looking at communities anyway, then it's interesting to see what is number one. Uh, so this is the number one meetup community in Amsterdam. Uh, I'm so sorry, it has to do with startups and innovation and these kinds of things. Um, obviously, this I don't understand. We don't innovate, we're not a startup, right? Um, however, um, it involves drinking, it involves hacking and founding, and it involves innovation and boot camps. Silicon as well. Uh, oh, silicon. Right. I love silicon. Um, <laughs> right here. What are you laughing at? So, um, this is nice. And when we do that community detection, we can, per community, uh, look at activity and also uh, trends of activity. Uh, I'm not going to actually name all of those, but you see the one that went up really quickly and then kind of, you know, got back down again. That's like we should get a real hype cycle kind of thing. Yeah, that's mobile app development. <laughs> <laughs> then obviously all of these meetups have descriptions and these descriptions allow for some text mining. We can do interesting things with that. So this is like some kind of more or less semantically linked network of um, topics and, and subjects that appear in these different texts. And we, we combine them all together and we um, lay out the network using um, <coughs> Uh, distances uh, that come from a word to fact model that was trained on, on the entire set of English language uh, meetup descriptions for Amsterdam and beyond. Um, and then the, the yellow things are communities and you can see that communities have their own little topics that they talk about but then some communities have topics that link them. So for example right here you see this group which is the, the, the big data data science guys with machine learning and all of that but they also have Hadoop and Cassandra and HBase in the middle. And then over there, that's Scala functional languages, but also uh, scalable systems. Um, and those communities are kind of connected through these, these different topics. So this is really nice. So we figured, uh, uh, let's build uh, a somewhat accessible publication out of this. So it's not a paper, but it's more like a website that uh, your managers can browse and view to see which technologies are halted right now. We'll be releasing that soon. Um, uh, it'll be called Data Driven Tech Radar. Um, so like I said, you can pass that on to your managers to convince them to do nice things. <laughs>